Yeah, I was and gentlemen, my name is Cena with Beauty with 34 and I'm here and it is Kyle, the car card and here. And uh, basically today I want to talk about uh, Jurassic World and what I think of the movie, some of the dinosaur discussions and some of the issues that people have been speculating on and uh, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So, uh, first of all, what do I think of the film? Well, I've been waiting for a film like this ever since I saw Jurassic Park 3 and we know how bad that film was. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a bad film, but um, ever since then I just felt cheated out of a good film and I just thought to myself, we need another good um, Jurassic Park fi uh, film and th there was rumours years and years ago about it and um, I didn't know whether it was going to come to fruition, but when they announced it I was just like, oh my god, but um, yeah, they revealed the name and it's a good thing they didn't go with that uh, dinosaur-human hybrid plot because oh my god, that would have been... That film would have been so bad, it would have been worse than Jurassic Park 3. Oh god, that would be horrible. But, um, what do I think of the film so far? Um, out all the trailers and all the information that's been given, it is so, it looks to be a very good film. I don't think it'll match up to uh, the first film in just awesomeness and grandeur and all that, but, um, it'll be a good film. It'd definitely be better than Lost World and uh, Jurassic Park 3. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely it'll be better than those, so I guarantee you that I, I have a big feeling that this will be so much better than those two. And it, I think it might, I mean, it could rival the first film in awesomeness and grandeur, but I don't think it'll do it, but um, I don't care. If it's a good film, it's a good film. Uh, let's get into the first issue with the uh, film, or the first thing I'd like to talk about in the film. So, um, the park, well... <clears throat> The park, uh, from the images and the trailers and all that, and uh, all that kind of stuff, oh my god, it looks so advanced, and uh, from what I gathered, it's been open 10 years, they've been doing well for 10 years, and it's on the same island, I think it's Isla, I th I'm not too familiar with some of the Jurassic Park islands, but I think it's like Isla Sauna or Isla Nublar, I can't remember, uh, I, I don't know, I've forgotten so badly, I'm such an idiot, but um, it just looks so vibrant and looks so fantastic and it just looks it looks it honestly looks like what Jurassic Park would look like today if they well if they did this again and that would and that is just perfect that is perfect that's what you that's what you want to see and when I heard about them uh, when I heard about like stuff about them um, about the film and how it's how the park is doing good and all that and what it's and what it's looking like with all hotels and all that this is this is the park I imagined I imagined this kind of park and you know something it just looks, it, it honestly looks like this park is too good. It just looks too good to be, to be um, believed that it's uh, been made up. And, um, just, just overall, a wow. It's just wow. How, this, 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 I don't know, uh, the filmmakers and the directors and the, well, the director, not the directors, and the, and the designers for these, for the films and all that, and all this plot, plot production and all that, oh my god, how do people, I mean, it, it just stuns me how, how filmmakers are able to think of stuff like this, and you know what, it all makes sense, it all just makes sense, but, and I get it, um, at first I was just like, why are they building another park, from the last films, they should have realised that they should not build a park, and then when they explained what, why, and I was like, okay, this makes sense, so yeah, the park, it looks very fantastic, and it looks awesome, so yeah, I'm just gonna... Uh, get on to the next topic. Alright guys, we know how bad the Mosasaur error was. I mean, look at it. It's, look at this picture. The, the Mosasaur is massive. <laughs> I mean, your average Mosasaur would get to about 50 to 60 feet long. And that's big. But this, this is just crazy. And I actually, um, watched this guy's video. I forgot what, the, I forgot what his name is. 
Um, but he, he analysed the length of the Moses saw and he said it's something like over 600 feet. And I'm like, whoa, that is a 600 foot plus mistake that the filmmakers have done. But I get it why they do that, you know, just to emphasise how big and how awesome the park is. And you get it, but, um, and, and again, a 50 foot um, Moses saw probably won't be able to make that jump. It probably get like three quarter. I mean, I don't know, half of its body out of the water, and then it's just like, oh, it's just a big snake. But I mean, if this is a fifty foot long uh, mosasaur, let's say, let's just well, let's let's make let's max it out. Let's say this is a sixty foot uh, mosasaur, and it's got probably like a five and a half foot skull. That shark's gonna be about four foot, so that that makes sense. But that shark looks too too big to be four foot. So yeah. Um, I don't really have an. I, I did have an issue with it at first. I was just like, that Mosasaur is too big. But now I've started to grow grow on it, and it's like, they've got to say. I feel like they're going to save the Mosasaur to kill the Indominus Rex, but I feel like that just. That will not suffice me, because the Mosasaur is a non dinosaur. For any of you guys who think this, this guy is a dinosaur, he's not. No way. He comes from a family of um, other kind of reptiles called the Archosaurs, or Archosaurs, or something else, I don't know. Or Arachosaurs, or I, 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 I just made that word up. Wow. <laughs> but um, yeah, this this guy, he's. I mean, I think he will be. I think he'll do well in the film. I think he'll become one of the most popular uh, non-dinosaurs uh, character slash characters in the film. And you know what? I'm okay with this inaccuracy as long as they don't do anything else stupid like in the next. In the well, there's a sequel coming, and uh, I hope they just don't do something stupid like a. A, a, I don't know, a 500 foot uh, Elasmosaurus or a, 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 I don't know, a Pteranodon with a 70 foot wingspan or something like that. Something stupid like that, but this this is um, this wasn't, this was going to be like first strike for Jurassic World, but no, it's, it's fine with me now. It sat well with me so far, so hopefully it should sit well with me when I go and see the film. Now, the Raptor Pack, as you can see, Owen here, he's uh, trying to train, um, I think this is... Echo and Blue, I'm not too sure, because Blue's got like, I think, I don't know if Blue's got like a stripe going down him, it's quite blue, but uh, yeah, you can see that raptor with the blue, um, thing of a bobby thingy, uh, the blue stripe down his side, but um, people are, people are complaining about the raptors being trained and all that, and you know what I say to those people, well, think about this, I mean, Owen, I mean, ra ra reptiles and dinosaurs, and birds, well, not reptiles, uh, birds and dinosaurs, they have a quick they have a quick growth span when they're quite young, don't they? So think about it, these raptors could be like, what, something like 8 or 10 years old, and Owen's been there since the, since they were born, so probably uh, from fan art and concept pictures and whatever's been re released. And these guys see him as their father, and you think about it, and there's, there's good examples of it. I mean... Um, some some zoo bred lions and t and wolves and tigers and whatever. They're born uh, when they when they're born. Um, usually people, uh, usually the zookeepers and whatever and the trainers will and whatever, will will like raise them themselves. I mean you see in a lot of documentaries, and uh, there was even that there was even a there was even the lion man who um, who raises lions and, and he doesn't force himself into the pack of the pride. He, uh, like I think Owen, what he's done is that he's he sort of got he sort of let them accept him in by letting him raise them sort of but not fully raise them you know keeping because with this I think they're trying to spread the message that these raptors even though they were raised by Owen no they are not they are not domesticated animals they are still wild animals in fact blue there in the trailers it looks like blue's just about to launch himself at um, Owen but I don't think so but um, I think Del, I think that's Delt on the on the left. Um, he he looks a lot calmer and a lot more uh, okay with this than Blue. But um, yeah, that, that's the only and is and uh, another issue is 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 the pack from the first film still on the island because the restricted zone is the old park and I'm, I think this may possibly possibly and then there's a few issues going around that people saying oh if if they are still there then there's gonna be like 50 odd raptors or something running around. No, you got to think about this. Theropod dinosaurs would have fought amongst each other quite a bit, and in some cases, you could have ended up with with like many theropod dinosaurs in a pack being killed off, just from in pack fighting and all that over food and whatever. And I reckon with all the results of this fighting and whatever, and um, pack members being forced out and forced to live uh, fend for themselves when they 
end up ending up not doing it uh, well and dying off and all that. You could end up with like only 15 individuals on, on the restricted zone, and you could end up with like two separate packs. So you never know. You never know. But um, yeah, that's another issue I just wanted to tackle, and I uh, hope hope that hope those answers have um I hope those answers help you with that. But yeah, let's get on to the next topic. So the next issue are the animals and all that, and um, I want to go over quite a few of the animals. But as you can see here, we got um, we got quite a few animals. We got Megaceros from well, we got from Megaceros a T-Rex, the Pachycephalosaurus, Triceratops, Bionyx, Suchomimus, uh, Tyrannodon, Dorymphodon, uh, Indominus Rex, Mosasaurus, Stegosaurus, Parasaurolophus, all those guys. And uh, I just wanted to, to talk about which each of these will probably play a role in. And, um, well, obviously, the Indominus Rex is hunting for game, and people have had an issue with that, saying, oh, that's not, that's too human for it. But no, you think about it, there, there, there are some animals out there today that will do that. I mean, I mean, if you even look to the, if any of you guys know the, uh, I'm trying to think now what's it called. Well, in the UK, it's called Dinosaur Secrets, but it, over in the USA, it's called Jurassic Fight Club. Uh, there was the episode with the Nanotrannus killing off the, um, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and I know that's because predators do that, but think about it, um, the Indominus Rex could just be doing it because it wants a larger territory, it wants a bigger area, and it wants to cause confusion, it, it could be, it, is, it sounds like a really, really smart dinosaur, <laughs> and that's why it probably killed off its sibling when they were young, it was smart then, and it's smart now, and it's doing these for, it's not doing these out of randomness, it is doing it because it's a because it is a dangerous dinosaur and each of these dinosaurs are going to play a role in it I reckon now obviously we've got the big carnivores that are there for this for the fear factor and all that uh, we've, we've obviously got all the big predators there for the fear factor and all that but the, the, the herbivores and all that I think they will play a big role in causing a bit of confusion and uh, some of the smaller carnivores will also do that um, but I've got a feel. I've got a feeling that there's, there are some, there are specific, specific uh, individual sp uh, genuses and species out of that uh, lot that I think will play an incredibly uh, specific role. Like the Apatosaurus, obviously they're there to be the first victim. I mean, maybe to be the um, some of the first victims, the first dinosaur victims of the Indominus Rex. And I actually think that the, the Apatosaurus will even try and take on the Indominus Rex only to fail because they're not that smart. But, uh, and maybe we could even have a fight between Indominus Rex and Triceratops. I wonder if you've, if any of you guys have ever thought of that, you know, because, uh, yeah, it could, it could just be, it could just be like, T-Rex couldn't get the job done 65 million years ago. Let's see if Indominus Rex can. And Indominus Rex, you guys don't know, as a cross between, well, has DNA from, um, I think, Giganotosaurus, Rugops, Carcharodonsaurus, and Majungasaurus. So it's basically saying the Abelosaurs and the Giganotosaurs and the Carcharodonsaurs can do a could do a better job than T than Tyrannosaurus could ever do, but that could be that could be quite cool and um, and I think that's what Indominus Rex symbolises. It's just trying to say that predatory dinosaurs have come and gone, but T Rex will always be the king of the dinosaurs. So yeah, um, there's always going to be some. All these dancers are going to play a specific role and a specific uh, contribution and uh, confusion to the park. And you know what? I think if that works out properly, I think each of them will get their own stardom. And the final topic I want to touch upon uh, for now is the triple threat or possibly fatal four-way down a theropod fight. Now, um, as we all know, T-Rex is definitely going to fight the Indominus Rex, but will it kill it? Now, um, there has been talk of a triple threat between the T-Rex, the Indominus Rex, and something else. Now, there are two contenders that I see uh, in this fight. And I'm not specifically... And I'm not saying the Raptors, because I reckon the Raptors will fight the Indominus Rex probably early on, uh, a bit earlier into the, into the... Well, into the movie than the T-Rex. And I reckon maybe some of them might get killed, or maybe they might just all get injured and the Indominus Rex will just be like, oh, I'm going to come back later. I'm going to come back later and kill you all. <laughs> But um, I reckon that two con there are two big contenders that I reckon will actually come in and probably be in that triple threat if it's possible. Suchomimus and Baryonyx, the two, spi two Spinosaurids. 
Now, as we all know, in Jurassic Park 3, Spinosaurus was incredibly inaccurate, even for that, even if for its time. I mean, yeah, Jack Arnosaur is a big carnivorous dinosaur, but he does he doesn't he didn't know, and he doesn't, and he still he still won't admit today. Well, I don't think he I don't think I I don't think that Jack Horner is out of well, I don't think Jack Horner likes to admit that maybe T Rex is a carnivore. I think he just sticks with the scavenger thing. And I'm like, but there is evidence that T Rex is definitely a hunter and a scavenger. So you're half right there. But, um, yeah, Spinosaurus is very inaccurate. And I believe that it is Sukumimus and Baronyx's job to set things right. I mean to to make them look like big big carnivorous dinosaurs, but they are quite but they are relatively weak, and they are weaker than T Rex. And I think if they get taken down by T Rex, they'll they'll do something even they'll they'll solidify the Spinosaurus legacy. They'll solidify the Spinosaur and Spinosaurid legacy. I think if they do that correctly, have T Rex kill bo kill one of them or both of them off. Then it gets things right, it makes things look more accurate, it'll please dinosaur nerds and fans across the world, and we'll have a good time just enjoying the film and, all and some of the accuracies that it has. But yeah, and, and out of the two, I see Sukumimus being involved, because not only is the is it the biggest out of the two, but it, is, it does look a lot like a Spinosaurus without a spine. So if you get those two in, well, apart from Spinosaurus being quadrupedal, but if you get Sukumimus in, boom, you've got yourself a triple threat. It's it's T Rex, it's a Tyrannosaur versus a Carcharodontosaurus slash Giganotosaurus slash a Bellosaur versus a Spinosaur. You've got three of the biggest. You've got three of the biggest. Well, some of the biggest theropod families ever in that fight there. Now the the Raptors. I reckon they'll come in into that scene where the with a uh, Owen on the bike. And they will take it to Indominus Rex. They will give Indominus Rex a hard time. But Indominus Rex will come out on top. And that is my opinion. Will they die? Um, I don't know. I I actually don't want the Raptors to die. I mean, yeah, they, 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 I just don't want them to die. I feel like they'll get beaten badly. But I do not want them to die. Oh my god, if they die, I will I will just be like, oh my god. <laughs> but no, seriously, I think this movie is going to be awesome. I can't wait for the dinosaur fights. Hopefully you guys are going to see it in the summertime. This has been Senior Review 34, Kyle Marston, the Cockroachosaurus. And I shall see you later. Bye-bye.